To use Remote Console, there are mainly two files that you need to download from uh, the Oracle WebLogic Remote Console GitHub release page. We spoke about this earlier, and the first one is a WAR file, uh, which is called as a console REST extension WAR. This is an optional download, and then you have this actual client um, uh, uh, file here, uh, which you can download based on your operating system. So if you have a Windows, this is a file, and Linux, and this is for Mac, and so on. Right Now, in this session, we will talk about how to use or how to install this WAR file, which is an optional download. Now, I have a WebLogic server running. Let me quickly connect to that. Okay, so I see three trees by default, right? So the edit tree, config view tree, and the monitoring tree. Now, there is a fourth tree called a security data tree. Uh, this is not displayed here because I don't have the extension installed. So this is one way of knowing if the extension is there or not. And the second option is just go to this particular um, details page, and then you can see console extension version not installed. Okay, so this is how you know that it's not there. Now, installing this is quite simple. So all you have to do is um, go to the domain home. And then you have to create a folder here um, called management service extension. It has to be the same name. So um, just make sure there are no typos here. So management services hyphen ext. And then you have to copy and paste the WAR file that you downloaded from the GitHub page here. Okay, once you do this, if your server is already running, you need to restart the server. So let me quickly restart it. Yeah, it's disconnected because the server is restarting. Let's wait for it to come to running state. All right. Okay, it should be running now. Let me try to connect to this domain. All right, so you see this, the new tree which is here, which is a security data tree. So this, you can see this here because you have successfully installed the console extension. Now let us also check what is the version of console extension that you have. And the version here is 2411, right? So this is same as your client version. So it means that you are using a correct version of console extension, uh, which goes along with the uh, remote console uh, client tool version, right? So that's it in this session. Uh, in the next session, we'll see how to upgrade your WebLogic remote console tool and also the console extension.